what does well being let us look at well being in a holistic manner the world health organization defines health not as the absence of ill health but as a state of complete physical mental and social well being before we begin with the module let us play a short quiz to break the ice shall we we will give you specific situations listen to these situations situation 1 you are a runner and have a marathon coming up but your body feels weak and is not cooperating with you what would you do you decide to compete in the marathon anyway and deal with the consequences later go to a doctor and seek professional advice decide to skip the marathon to give your body the rest it needs until it is ready again situation 2 you are under tremendous pressure of completing a deadline for your academic or office work and you feel like you are burning out and not able to cope you continue working in spite of your stress to meet deadlines speak to your professor or boss and try to get help or advice on your schedule take out time for yourself outside of your classroom or work and rejuvenate with extracurricular activities parallelly to channelize your stress situation 3 you move to a new city and have no friends and no one to talk to it is difficult for you to make new friends and the loneliness is getting to your nerves you try to explore the city on your own become comfortable with the idea of being alone go more often to new events in different parts of the city to try and meet new people take social support from family while you keep looking to make new friends go to the situational well-being activity in the next segment to attempt this quiz pick the options you feel you would do in the given situations now that you have attempted the quiz let us look at the answers to situational well-being the truth is there is no one blanket solution to situational well-being it all depends on your individual level of well-being the best way of addressing this is to increase self awareness of your personal levels of well-being the tangible built environment we inhabit plays a huge role in shaping the intangibles of physical emotional and social well-being what we can ensure is to design holistic built environments that bring about spatial well-being and thereby catalyze personal well-being let us look at a few simple definitions of these terms physical well-being is the ability to improve the functioning of your body through healthy eating and good exercise habits emotional well-being is the ability to practice stress management techniques be resilient and generate emotions that lead to good feelings social well-being is the extent to which you feel a sense of belonging in the next chapter we will look at ways in which well-being can be optimized through design interventions